four hours later. Doesn't look much different, but I actually got a lot done. I got the breather tube holes milled out and the handle pole bracket is installed all the way. We got my holes drilled out, which took me for excuse me, took me forever to measure and figure out where those go for the hood straps. Got a little bit done on the dash here for the bilge pump and the plunger for the primer. Got the e-box mounted. You can see the bolts there. All right, so inside, I got the hydro turf put on the on the floor where the fuel tank goes, and then on the bottom, you can just see the red edge there on the bottom of the water box. So the water box is all installed. Took me a while to figure out how I wanted to run all these tie down brackets, but I got them run in there. And then the back one there, last one will be on the uh, battery box, of course. Got my motor mounts in, got my Kenny keepers on, and they're all torqued down. And there's the inside view. There's the inside view of where the e-box will sit. Takes a little bit of time because you got to mock everything up, mark it, measure it, and then take it apart, drill it, clean it up, and then put it back in to see if he, you got it to fit right. On my tank, I'm about halfway done with the tank. Did a, uh, this is the stock top fitting for uh, reserve and on, obviously. And then I'm going to take a stock nozzle, trim it down a little bit. Cut this open, screw it on the top to make it an internal fill, and then run uh, vent and return lines as normal. What I did uh, with the soft aluminum tubes, hopefully we can see down in the tank, these soft aluminum tubes, I put a little bit of an S-bend in them. And so you can see it brings it back out to the center of the tank and then angles it down so that the plastic hose is hanging straight down instead of having a 90 degree bend in it and getting a pinch. And then I put a clunk on, on the end of each one. So, the, so that one laying there on the bottom is uh, obviously the reserve. The red one, which you can barely see, is the main. Haven't decided yet if I'm just going to run uh, a single line and block off the main. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about sloshing in the tank. There isn't that much hose to allow the clunk to follow the fuel sloshing back and forth in the tank. Is uh, Hopefully I'm able to get upside down in this ski. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I may end up just going with that... Uh, with that reserve line. I did finish the fuel tank. So here's what I ran. Like I talked about before, put the uh, stock lines in the front there and then bent them on the inside. And then I took the stock gas cap from the hole, cut the flange off the top of the tank, had to sand it open just a little bit bigger because this is just a hair bigger. And then basically just pushed it in and screwed it down. And so now we have an internal fill setup for the fuel tank. Okay, so here's the pump in. Figured that was the best place to start so I can get that shimmed up and as straight as possible before I put in the mid shaft and the, uh, the engine and get that all shimmed into place. I had to do a little bit of... Uh, customization, manufacturing. You can see here I had to run pretty tight on this cooling line coming off the pump because of interference on the steering cable. Um, the other side put a little bit bigger arch so it, so it doesn't get pinched in here. If you run them too tight it uh, restricts the flow a little bit but they are two half inch uh, lines. Uh, Tony put half inch lines through the hole so I'm running half-inch lines all the way to the exhaust manifold, and then from there it'll be three-eighths. So I think we're going to have plenty of water supply coming in. I uh, had to use a pretty big... Uh, kind of hard to see my trim, trim customization here, but uh, it seems to work. Um, I don't know exactly the throw I'm getting on it. I don't think it's a full 30 degrees. Uh, and then I had to do a little bit... I used a, a Sea-Doo uh, cable end, had to re-thread it, um, but I like the way it fit and the stand up here, I'm not focusing that close, so that when I'm at full throw steering and then go full throw tilt, the uh, cable isn't hitting the uh, steering arm there on the nozzle. 
So this is the Blosian uh, heavy duty uh, six millimeter steering cable, which by the way, I found out this is not a standard six mil thread. It's actually quarter 20 thread, which is why I had to rethread this uh, cable in there. But I like this ball joint um, better than uh, what Blosian had given me, and it's a little bit longer. Um, so I got more threads engaged. The uh, the one that came with the Blosian cable, uh, it was maybe, I don't know, a little bit less than a half inch. Anyway, so the pump's in, and I'm going to flip it back over, and now I can start working on the uh, the engine, getting the engine shimmed in.